Well, I've done a bit of a, re a bit of rearranging in the greenhouse, and I've finished up with all this space. Look at that. There's a run on through it, and I brought all the uh, the cat leaves in. Because I'm surprised at this. I mean, last year. I thought the best place to put these uh, cat layers was outside, in the warmth, in the shade, and they got a little bit of sunshine late in the afternoon. Well, I did all that, and I fed them well, and I didn't water them that much, but uh, lo and behold, this year, not a spike on. Plenty of growth, but not a single spike on any of them. So I thought, well, I'll bring them into the greenhouse, and... Uh, See what I can do with them in here. Keep them that little bit warmer. But uh, I don't know what much more I can do. But uh, we'll make sure these flower again next year somehow. Well, we've got a mixed bag of uh, plants up here. There are uh, Masdevallias, Maxillarias, small and grey come right there, doing very nicely. More Masdevallias, more Maxillarias as well. And on the other side here, at the top, I've got all Paphia pedlums, and none of them has been doing too good. So what I've done, I've potted them all in live moss, which is a much, much better media than, uh, than what you call the dead moss, the sphagnum moss that you get uh, from New Zealand. And this is live moss from uh, well, it says Irish, but uh, I've never seen it red before. But it does grow absolutely green. But uh, I followed Mick's advice and I've put some of this in little tubs and I'll show you that. So there's the three little tubs with the, uh, with the moss that I'm hoping to grow. And it's all been put in exactly as... Uh, Mix Masdevallia said, so uh, it's all sealed up on the top, so I'll undo those sealing in five or, week, five or six weeks' time, and uh, we'll see how they're going on. I could always do with live moss. I mean, it's not dear to buy, but uh, it's always nice when you can grow your own. Oh, just had a flower dropped off the... Uh, oh, what do you call it? They all have gross, so there's none left on there. They have four spikes on. And the heat has just come on because it's pretty cold in here. So we've got all the Phragmopediums all across the top here. All Phragmopediums. And some down here. With Another two and grey comes there. One's the sesquipedale and the one at the back is the big one is the vecchiai. And there's a nice big paffia pedalum there. And then we've got these selogenies. And there's the drip system going on. I've put a little bit of uh, seaweed extract in. I've put some, uh, well, whatever, some calcium nitrate and some uh, magnesium. So uh, I think there was 100, 120 parts per million of calcium nitrate and 40 parts per million of uh, Epsom salts. And they're dripping away into the bottom two there. I can't see anything detrimental to them, but uh, hopefully they'll be fine. Now here are uh, 21 uh, Dendric Island. Glumasium, uh, and uh, they're all coming along very nicely. I think there's uh, just a couple of small ones not doing very well, and then we have some uh, Chelonastellis, about uh, 12 of them down here. Chelonastelli, Sulfuria, they're doing fine. So uh, that's me, all rearranged, ready for the show again. So until then, uh, thank you to uh, all my subscribers. Thank you to everybody watching this video. Thank you very much if you've uh, given me a nice tick or, uh, or subscribed. Everything is appreciated. So until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.